Beware, Ralphie Rabbit and the Secret Book Biter. 请注意，兔仔 Ralphie 同埋神秘咬书人。注意注意，请大家帮 Ralphie 寻找呢个神秘咬书人。佢将 Ralphie 所有书都咬到周围都系窿，而佢暂时最中意咬嘅书就系、是。大书、细书、圆形嘅书、方形嘅书、搞笑嘅书，总之咩书佢都会咬噶啦。如果你揾到佢，请小心啊，可能佢会咬埋你噶。Ralphie 好中意睇书噶，细书、大书、搞笑嘅书、恐怖嘅书、冒险嘅书，咩书都啱睇。当安静嘅时候，冇嘢系开心得过匿埋喺度睇书，不停睇，不停睇，不停睇。问题嚟啦，安静嘅时刻已经冇咗。每次 Ralphie 想安静咁睇书，佢个弟弟 Rodney 就不停喊、大叫、尖叫、扫鼻涕。你睇下 Ralphie 个样都好感到烦恼啊！当 Rodney 越嚟越大个，佢制造嘅嘈吵声就越嚟越大，冇一个地方可以俾可怜嘅 Ralphie 去安静咁睇书。Ralphie 有尝试匿埋喺橱柜，卷埋自己喺乌衣篮或者花园度。甚至乎佢最中意嘅书店都唔够安静，佢谂到啦 ，Ralphie 就去唯一一个安静嘅地方俾佢去睇书，就系、是、图书馆。呢度系 Ralphie 最中意嘅地方，佢可以成日喺度拣唔同类型嘅书睇，又可以决定借边本书翻屋企睇。最重要嘅就系呢度好安静。Ralphie 正谂住打开本书嚟睇，点知有个大惊喜啊！本书中间有个大窿啊，系乜嘢咬到佢咁嘅咧？图书馆管理员讲笑咁问 ：Ralphie， 你系咪一路行过嚟嘅时候太肚饿啊 ？Ralphie 感到唔好意思咁话：对唔住哦，但系唔系我整烂噶。唔紧要啦，但你都要帮手揾翻喺边个整烂咗。我哋要好好爱惜啲图书，咁大家睇嘅时候都会睇得开心啊嘛。Ruffy 立即冲翻翻屋企，佢知道有个人整烂咗本书，一定要快啲阻止佢啊。Ruffy 决定问问屋企人先，我望到整系挂住即生生都唔得闲咬书哦。婆婆话：我一路整紧萝卜酥、哦。爸爸话：我食萝卜酥都食饱啦，仲点会食得落啲书呀、啊？妈妈话：嗯，果然要揾到边个整烂本书，一定唔系一件容易嘅事啊！唔紧要，因为 Ralphie 好有决心。一定要揾到边个咬烂本书，佢喺个侦探包入面攞个放大镜出嚟帮手调查，揾下个书架先。Ralphie 行到埋去，又见到啲佢估唔到嘅嘢啦。咩话？仲有一本书都被咬烂，成件事变得更加严重啦。再睇真啲，原来唔止一本啊，系一。二三四五六七八九十 ，Ralphie 攞起一本又一本书，书面全部都有牙印，每一本都被咬过，咬到连本书个大结局都冇咗啊！直情每一本书都总会有一个窿，今次真系大件事啦！突然之间 ，Ralphie 听到一啲声音，个鼻索下索下，咕噜咕噜，隆隆声
系喺呢一本书度传出嚟噶。咬烂呢啲书嘅人一定喺呢度，佢即将会被捉到啦。Ralphie 慢慢接近去呢啲声音度。啊，原来系 Rodney 啊，妈咪 ！Ralphie 大声叫。就系、是、Rodney 咬烂晒啲书啊！佢食晒我啲书啊 ！Oh Ralphie， 真系唔好意思啊！妈妈话 Rodney 出紧牙仔，可能佢啲牙肉好唔舒服啊。Ralphie 听落都觉得弟弟好辛苦，然后佢就谂究竟点样先可以帮到佢咧 ？Ralphie 抄匀晒成个玩具箱。大咗一只橡胶犀牛仔俾佢咬，然后仲揾到一只软淋淋嘅青蛙，同埋一条会发出吱吱声嘅沙丁鱼公仔。但 Rodney 净系喺度喊 ，Ralphie 就谂啦：究竟我以前好似 Rodney 咁细个嘅时候会中意啲咩咧？然后就俾佢谂到啦，佢数下自己有几多零用钱，然后问爸爸。可唔可以出去买一份礼物俾 Rodney？ 转眼间，佢哋就嚟到 Ralphie 第二个最中意嘅地方，就系、是、书店。佢揾到一份非常之理想嘅礼物俾弟弟。爸爸，我谂 Rodney 会超级中意呢份礼物啊！硬皮书对 B B 兔仔嚟讲系最完美噶。哦、oh, ，Ralphie， 你真系一个好善良嘅哥哥，我觉得你都应该收到一份礼物啦。翻到屋企之后 ，Ralphie 即刻送咗份礼物俾 Rodney。嗱 ，Rodney， 呢本系属于你自己嘅一本书啊。妈妈见，妈妈就问：点解你唔读俾佢听先呢？但当佢尝试，大家都净系听到 Rodney 一路咬书一路笑嘅声音啊！同埋 Ralphie 发现睇书可能系佢同 Rodney 一齐享受嘅乐趣咧。虽然 Rodney 有时会咬下啲书。Beware, Ralphie Rabbit and the Secret Book Biter. Book biter on the news. Ralphie Rabbit loved books, small books, big books, funny books, scary books, adventure books, and any kind of other book. When things were quiet, he liked nothing more than to snuggle up with a good book and read, read, read. The trouble was. Things weren't so quiet anymore. Baby Rodney sobbed, screamed, streaked, and snivelled every time Ralphie tried to get stuck into a story. And as Rodney got bigger, the noises he made got bigger too. There was just nowhere quiet left. For poor Ralphie to read his books, he tried reading in the kitchen cupboard. He tried snuggling in the linen basket. He tried hiding in the garden shed. Even his favorite bookshop wasn't quiet enough. There was only one thing for it. Ralphie headed off the only place quiet enough for him to read. The library. Was Ralphie's favorite place. He spent hours flicking through the bookshelves, reading stories, and deciding which books to borrow. And best of all, it was quiet. But when Ralphie got out his book to read, he had a big surprise. There was a huge hole in his book. Something had taken a bite out of it. Did you get a bit hungry on the way here, Ralphie? Chuckled the librarian. I'm sorry, <laughs> sniffed Ralphie. It wasn't me. Don't worry, said the librarian. 
but maybe you should find out who it was. We need to look after our library books so everyone can enjoy them. Ralphie rushed straight home. There was a book biter on the loose and he had to stop them. Ralphie decided to ask his family first. I've been too busy knitting to bite books, said Granny. I've been cooking claret combo, said Dad. And I'm too full of crumble to eat books, said Mum. Clearly, it wasn't going to be that easy. But Ralphie was determined to find out who the book biter was. He picked up his detective kit and began to investigate. The bookcase seemed like a good place to look. And as he reached into the shelf, he found something unexpected. Another one of his books had been nibbled by the book biter. Things were going from bad to worse. Ralphie reached for another book. And another, and another. The covers were tangled with teeth marks. Chapters had been chewed. And there were no more happy endings. All of Ralphie's favorite stories had bits missing from them. What a mess! Suddenly, Ralphie heard a noise. It was nothing, grunting, rumbling noise. And it was coming from underneath the bumper book of bunnies. The book fighter was here and it was about to be caught. Ralphie crept towards the noise. It was Rodney. Mom! shouted Ralphie. Rodney is the book biter and he's eaten all my books. Oh, Ralphie, I'm sorry, said Mum. Rodney's teeth are growing and he probably has sore gums. That sounded painful to Ralphie. He thought about what he could do to help. Ralphie rummaged in the toy box and handed Rodney a rubber rhinoceros to bite. He also found a foamy frog and a squeaky sardine. But Rodney just started to cry. Ravi thought about what had made him happy when he was little like Rodney. And then he had an idea. He counted out his pocket money and asked Dad if they could go and buy Rodney a present. So off they went to Ralphie's other favorite place, the bookshop, where he found the ideal gift for his baby brother. I think Rodney will love this one, Dad, said Ralphie. Board books are perfect for baby bunnies. Dad smiled. Oh, Ralphie, what a kind brother you are. I think you deserve a present too. Ralphie gave Rodney his present as soon as he got home. Here you go, Rodney, your very own book, said Ralphie. Why don't you read to him first, suggested Mum. As he did, the only noise from Rodney was the sound of him giggling. And Ralphie realized that perhaps reading was something that he and Rodney could enjoy together after all even if Rodney had a little nibble at the same time.